good morning all i am dr kartika under the guidance of professor dr mk rajshekar sir i will be taking you all through this video on management of dysphagia this patient presented to us with a history of cva 2 months back with the complaints of difficulty in swallowing and speech and he has been receiving nutrition on the rails tube for a long time <coughs> <coughs> Fees was performed to evaluate the swallowing, and patient was able to swallow liquids, that is water and beetroot extract. Now soft solid given. Could see a varicose stagnation, in spite of multiple swallowing. Injection laryngoplasty is planned. Pre-operatively, on video laryngo endoscopy, we we found left vocal cord is paralyzed, and there is a phonatory gap seen. Hyaluronic acid is injected in the anterior and posterior part of the vocal cord. Bulge is noted. Post-operatively, phonatory gap is reduced. This is a check for others that this step can only be performed by ENT surgeons to prevent aspiration. Rails tube is removed on the same day. Then patient was started on swallow maneuvers along with the vital stimulation therapy. These are the tongue rolling exercises. It strengthens the muscle tongue muscles. and improves the articulation and saliva production lingual resistance exercise it will strengthen the overall oromotor function this is masako maneuver strengthens the base of the tongue muscle and improves swallow coordination and enhances the pharyngeal constriction it also improves in airway protection This is expiratory muscle strengthening exercise. It strengthens the internal intercostal muscles and abdominal muscles. Sucking exercise to strengthen the oral muscles. vital stimulation therapy it is used to treat dysphagia it uses neuromuscular electrical stimulation to stimulate the muscles of swallowing and these are the benefits of vital stimulation therapy vital stimulation along with swallow maneuver is a combined approach done in this patient la sapra la sapra please adukala na doctor la thanks to the take home message from this video is the fees should be done by only ent surgeons we should not leave this field to others for example this case completely treated by my assistant and post graduates only so this is a message for younger generation we have to do fees with manuos and vital stem therapy thank you